It's the sum of this. This little camera zooms up and gets the pimple on me. Get the pimple on my nose there? Okay, all righty. That's weird. I feel naked when it zing zooms right in on you there. All right, we got one more song I'm going to do uh, along the lines of dementia here. And this is a song that uh, I'm very proud has been uh, been uh, picked up by Rhino Records out in California. And it soon will be released around the country uh, on Rhino Records. It's going to be on the greatest hits of Dr. Demento, the greatest comedy novelty hits. And I'm real proud of that. And uh, let me get let me get some things. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of your camera range here. Let's go and put that camera on. And we're gonna I'm gonna fix some things here. You see that they make echoes and neat sounds. It's really just watch this. Okay, close your eyes. MTV, isn't it? <laughs> I think we're ready. Okay, now. This is a song that has, has a little bit of everything ever, ever written. It's got some profound stuff here. And, uh, and pull back, pull back. Get it. Pull back. My goodness. I get nervous if somebody's right up on me like that. <laughs> Give me some room, boy. Let's pull back a little bit. Well, let, let, let's be, uh, let's, let's just, just, just walk back a little bit. That's it. That's it. Just a little back. A little back. Because I might swing out with this guitar and poke you in the nose there. See, I don't want to do that. Okay, that, feel, that feels good. All right. All right. This is a song. Uh, yeah, how about that? It's almost like MTV here. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, it's a song called The Existential Blues. The elusive butterfly has just tiptoed past my door. My buddy likes the Yankees. She says, hey, T-Bone, what's the score? And I say, well, Lou Pinella got one and one and three and 25 or six, two, four. Is the left wing really pinko? Colonel Sanders, what a bore. You ask so many questions. What answers should I choose? Is the schizoid paranoia or just existential blues? So you go 20 years to college, you study Plato, Thoreau, Orestes, the entire gang. You get out in the real world and get a job at Kmart, right? <laughs> the amenities of life have been chasing my soul and my mind is transcendental. I'm losing all control and I'm sinking in the quagmire of illusions and Thoreau. I cry out, my name is T-Bone. That's a hound dog, digs a hole. You ask so many questions, what answers should I choose? This is Plato's heebie-jeebies or this accidental blues. What is illusion and what is true? Sailing, sailing over the existential blues. God bless America and no oh glory to. May she always wave o'er us with the red, white, and existential blues. Hey, bomb it, bomb it, bomb it, bomb it, bomb it, bomb it, ding, 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 existential blues. You can do what you want, blah, my existential blues. My blue suede existential blues. At this particular moment, half the audience is going, oh, wow, man, I know where he's coming from. The rest of you are going, what, what's this turkey talking about? You're the only honest people. But according to my Uncle Webster, and I'm sure we've all read that book cover to cover this semester, yes, according to my Uncle Webster, existentialism means pondering one's own individual reality. Actually, see, ladies and gentlemen, I am not here. I am merely a fragment of your weird, twisted, perverted mind. But then, but then on the other hand, you are not here. You are many fragments of my weird, twisted, perverted mind. Every you see, ladies and gentlemen, none of us exist. You're not here. I'm not here. There's no reason. There's no song. There's really no reason to continue. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're not getting off that easy. How many watch Mr. Rogers? Come out of the closet. Raise your hands. Come on. Come on. I'm looking. Okay. Raise, you, you didn't raise your hands. You're liars. I know. You're, you're closet Roger watchers. You come home from class at five. You tell your parents, go play in traffic. You lock a door five times, bolt locks. You run to your closet, get your green cardigan sweater, your black bow tie, and of course, your slippers. Now, if Mr. Rogers was right here, boys and girls, he'd say, would you like to go to the Magic Kingdom? Sure you would. I think half of you are already there. No, I sure as hell am. Let's pretend, boys and girls. The magic word is pretend. I hope the people at home are watching this, too. Pretend for one moment. Look at the person you're sitting or standing next to. Don't look at me. Study the person you're sitting or standing next to from top to bottom, not so much in the middle. And pretend for one moment that the person you're sitting next to is something you created in your mind to fit your fancy. Well, the ploy and the plot thickens because when you go home with him or her tonight, roll over in bed and say, Hey, fancy, meeting you here. Sorry about that. I was on a quest to dream the impossible dream. Walking down the road one day, do da do da. I was walking down the road. I was looking for the truth of life. When I came across all these little people, little people, little people all around me. They look at me and said, Hey, mister, are you tall? I said, 
Of course I'm tall. <laughs> but who are you? We're little people. They look at me with their big red bloodshot eyes and they say, We are the lollipop kids, the lollipop kids, the lollipop kids. We are the lollipop kids. We like the lollipop kids. We like the lollipop kids. I said, hey, weird little people, I'm on a quest to dream the impossible dream. Walking out of a day to die, do die. This is, you know, kid that can handle the big green glow in a dark hospital. Hell, I can handle a dark force. I can handle it. Who's this weird little old? Oh, that's my little pretty little dog, Toto, too. Who are these people? Who are these people? I said, it's an awfully strange road you guys are sending me down. I've seen them paint yellow stripes in the middle of the poor kids, but never quite that wide. All right, tighten your shorts, pilgrims, and sing like the Duke. All the other clothes, all the other clothes. Follow, 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 follow the other clothes. Never one of the wizards was the wizard of Oz's own. Because, 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 because. Because of the wonderful thing that he does. La, 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 la. I want to see the wizard. What a wizard of Oz's own. I'm on a quest to dream the impossible dream. Walking out of every day. I found myself in this little field. A little field of little red flowers. And I was out there and a little sucker smelled so good. And I was feeling pretty tired. And I figure, I was feeling pretty tired. And I figure, I got a little time to kill. I'll just stretch out this little field of puppies. Puppies! 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 Are you all having the same Are dream I'm having? Dream dream? Dream? Little red talking flowers. Little sucker smelled pretty good. And I was feeling... Tired. I figure I got a little time to kill. I'll just stretch out again in this little field of puppies. Little field of puppies. God, puppies. God, God, Dorothy. 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 The sure as hell doesn't look the like sure Kansas, Dorothy. Dorothy's, Dorothy's been copying his deal all to herself. <laughs> Along came an old man in a green El Dorado too, screeched to a halt. <laughs> hey, remember the old blackboard trick when we were kids? Visualize it in your mind. Think about it. A little short man with a big red nose talking a bottle of Yukon Jack. Stroll up to me. He says, hey, son, I said, oh, man, don't bother me, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> my face is melting. <laughs> he said, T-Bone. I said, wait a minute. This man knows my name. Who's he, boys and girls? Get your hands up and tell me. One, two, three. The Wizard. He must be the Wizard. The Wizard of Oz. Why have you come to haunt me? A Wizard of Wise. I said, a Wizard of Wise. And I've been on a quest to dream the impossible dream. Walking out of Roman day to die. I'm walking out. I said, oh, man, I've been through hell. He says, slow down, son, and relax. I said, Wizard of Wise, and I've come so far to find the truth of life. He says, hey, son, slow down and relax. I said, Wizard, he says, boy, let me put you straight. I've been in this field of poppies a long time. I come to find something the only truth in life. I said, the only truth in life. Where's Billy G when you really need him? I said, the only truth in life is right here in this bottle. I said, Wizard, how can they be? He said, no, truly, son. In fact, I'd rather have this bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. <laughs> With psychic power, she said, T-Bone, what's your sign? I blink and answer, Neon, I thought I'd blow her mind. She's reading Moby Dick by some fruitcake named Herman. She's chomping on an aquarist. Was the Duchess really joining? You ask so many questions, what answers should I choose? Is this really Butte, Montana, or just existential blue? Really Butte, Montana? Is this Plato's EBGB? Is this heartbreak of psoriasis? Ugh. Is this kiss my paranoia? Pac-Man, Pac-Man, and Pac-Man, and Pac-Man. Yeah, thank you.